What is good, Nation? It's Stock J back with another video. And in this one, we're going to be talking about the one and only AMC stock and break down something very important when it comes to AMC because we are not necessarily in the end for AMC. This thing still has the same potential as before. I'm going to show you what's going on with Ape and how this thing could actually lead to a massive, massive move for AMC. Now, before I break anything down and get started, I still have to mention a couple of things before starting. Firstly, I'm not a financial planner. Don't take any of this as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this. Not only benefits me, but the entire Ape community as a whole. And the last thing is, if you guys can, please check out the Mumu link down below and in the description. If you sign up for Mumu, the link down below and deposit any amount of money into the account, you're guaranteed seven free stocks, each worth up to $2,000. And if you deposit $100, you could get up to 10 free stocks, each worth the same amount. It's a limited time offer. The offer ends in just a week please check it out before they run out with that's out of the way let's get on with the video so anyways i want to get started with something very important and this is something i want to clarify for a lot of people so let's start off right here now this is the report or the documents that adam aaron himself basically put on his twitter page to help people learn about the faqs of the ape dividend and if you look right here we'll notice something very interesting amc will be delivering the Ape Equity Unit dividend via computer share to the DTC, which is the Depository Trust Company, who will then deliver them to your broker. So if you understand what this means, what's essentially happening is because every single one of these equity units are registered via computer share, they're not necessarily going to be able to be naked shorted or rehypothecated on paper at least theoretically i believe that's the case and what this essentially means is that there are all these amc shareholders and i don't know how many amc shares were sold i don't know if it's you know 600 million i don't know if it's a billion i don't know if it's 10 billion right we know that it's very likely based off the FTDs and all these other factors that they were naked shorting this thing to oblivion with synthetic shares. How many synthetics are there? I would estimate hundreds of millions to billions, probably in the billions, right? I don't truly really know. Let's just go over the example that there are 1 billion AMC shares out there. Just for example, here's the problem. Ape is supposed to have 516 million shares or equity units i could just call these units it doesn't matter it's almost the same thing there are 516 million of these ape units and the thing is every single one of the amc shareholders is entitled to these ape units everyone needs to get them and as of right now not everyone got them yet and we don't know if everyone's going to get them now if there are a synthetics this could be a big thing for us What's supposed to happen is everyone, you, me, whoever's holding AMC shares, whoever was holding since uh, the 15th, even if you bought shares up until the 19th, you would still be entitled to these APE units. The brokers, they have to find these APE units and give them to all of the shareholders. But it seems like a lot of people may not get them if they're truly are synthetics. So I don't know what's going to happen after that right we don't truly know but there is one thing i think could end up happening if the brokers basically become explicit and they expose themselves as not being able to give out as many amc shares it would expose them as being not credible untrustworthy you know corrupt and people how could people buy into the financial markets if they can't trust these brokers think about it so what the brokers may end up doing is they may want to cover up these tracks and they'll do it through the short sellers because the short sellers were the ones that printed out these potentially fake shares. And if they did that, if they truly did that, they're not going to want as many people to find out. They're going to probably try to hide this and cover this up because they are in a very big mess to cover it up there could be margin calls right there could be 
the short seller is going to be forced to buy as many ape units as possible causing the price to go up the problem with the ape unit though is it's probably not going to see a moas like amc would or it could and i say that because if if ape starts to run up which is awesome it could be diluted right adam aaron could dilute it he's gonna have to do that not because he's a bad person he's doing that because it's it's his it's essentially his job and he's gonna have to do that because he has to raise the funds for amc they have all this debt and they have some higher interest debt as the federal funds rates have been going up and my main point is not to say that ape won't squeeze this thing could go to the hundreds right maybe could it go to a thousand if there is that much covering if you know these if there's that much demand it is also possible even if they diluted for this thing to squeeze to crazy numbers but for amc here's what we're kind, kind of like trying to figure out how will amc react if ape explodes how are they going to trade together do they bounce off similar places are they going to end up in the same value so my main point is this the best thing to do is kind of just take a deep breath do what you have to do i'm not giving financial advice but i'm not selling any of my apes or amc shares i'm just gonna hold out and wait and study them let's see how amc reacts to ape let's see if they move in unison every day let's see what they end up doing let's actually look at other data from like the dark pools and things like that for ape and amc let's just study them and right now there isn't enough data for ape it just came out it's taking time i understand that so the best thing to do is see if we see a position like this because i think it's very likely that that is what ends up happening it's very likely that we end up seeing a bunch of uh the short sellers to have to end up in a very very tough position like this so with that said i just wanted to put it out there that this is just the beginning and for anyone to essentially come out there and say oh it's the end of the world it's never going to happen these stocks are dead this and that it's just plain fud <coughs> excuse me so when it comes to amc's case here's the best thing i could tell you guys i'm not giving financial advice but we just buy and hold and wait it out because when the time is right if we get a big move if something big happens this could be the start of it and it is it still is very possible for ape to be the nail in the coffin it's just going to require some time we're going to have to see if there truly are synthetics to it does everyone end up obtaining all of their shares and so on and so forth so anyways i want to thank each and every one of you for listening i also want to note that it must have been very you know tough for some people to be holding out their amc shares for this really long amount of time uh for other people it may have been maybe not as difficult but we're all in this together we're a family and we're going to do what we can now if you are in a position where you have to do something different that's really up to you it's your own money your own financial decision so stay strong remain calm cool and collected and i will most definitely see you guys in the next video amc to the moon because the long-term future is bright and peace out